Hello everyone. In the today video tutorial, I am going to show how to create material master in SAP. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. To create material master, we can use transaction code MM01. Enter the transaction code MM01. Okay, or else we can use the path also. To find the path, just press Ctrl F. Enter the transaction code MM01. Now press enter key. Yeah, system by default found the path of the MM01. Okay, now double click on that transaction MM01 or directly enter the transaction code in command field. In command field, we can only enter the transaction codes. Okay, enter the transaction code MM01. Now press enter key. Yeah. So before creating the material master, we should know whether our material type accepts the internal number range or external number range. In first case, I will show the how to create material master in internal number range. Okay. Before creating the material master, we should know what industrial sector I need to use and what material type I need to use and what data we need to enter in the material master data entry screen. Okay, first enter the industrial sector, mechanical engineering. Now I am entering the material type ROH, enter the material type ROH. Now press enter key. Yeah. So here we should first check the view tips, okay. How this window is appearing in selected format. First deselect all the views, okay. Now click on default settings, okay, close it. Now press enter key. See, now it is not coming in selected format. Okay. How we can achieve all the views come in selected format? First select the views. Okay. Select all the required views. Scroll down. Enter the remaining select the remaining views okay now click on default settings okay once we click on the default settings next time there is no need to select the views system automatically proposes the views in selected format okay for testing just close it now press enter key okay fully come back Enter the transaction code MM01. Now press enter key. Press enter again. See, it is coming in selected format. Okay. Now we can check what is the advantage of this checkbox. Okay. If I select this checkbox, view selection only on request checkbox. Okay. Just select the view selection only on request checkbox. Click on right mark. Okay. Now close it. Come back fully. Go to the transaction code MM01 again. Now press enter key. Press enter again. It is not showing the view selection screen. Okay. Why? Because we selected the view selection only on request checkbox. Okay. Still, if you want to select the views, we need to click on the select views push button. Here we can change the views. Okay. Now click on organization levels. Yeah, so here also we can set the default settings. Just enter your organization data here. Now click on default settings. In the next time, there is no need to enter the organization data here. Okay, now we check what is the advantage of this checkbox organization levels slash profile only on request. If I select this checkbox, system by default takes this organization data. Okay directly goes to the data entry screen okay for testing purpose i'm closing this one so before that selection views just uh, for time being i'm removing this checkbox okay click on right mark okay just come back go to the transaction code mm01 enter press enter key select your required views see it it is not showing the organization data entry screen. It is directly going to the data entry screen. Okay. Now come back. 
to come back enter slash n okay now enter the transaction code mm01 press enter key here also we have one more trick i am just selecting this checkbox okay select this checkbox click on organization levels this checkbox is already selected in this case even it sh don't show the view selection screen and organization level data entry screen okay it directly goes to the data entry screen that means it directly goes to the views just close it come back now enter the transaction code mm01 press enter key press enter key it directly goes to the data entry screen see it directly going to the data entry screen okay now come back the slash n how to undo this settings go to the transaction code mm01 here click on selection views just remove this checkbox i can click on the organization levels remove this checkbox okay now click on uh, into mark just come back enter the transaction code mm01 press enter key press enter again see it is started showing the view selection screen now click on right mark okay we did small mistake just come back mm01 press enter key press enter key click on organization levels remove this checkbox click on right mark earlier i clicked on the close mark okay now click on right mark okay just come back again go to the transaction code mm01 press enter key press enter key again press enter key again yeah now it is started showing the organization data entry screen okay now next question will arise how this organization data is coming okay so what views i selects in the view selection screen so based on that system proposes the organization levels okay for example click on the selection views push button just untick the just deselect the sales views i am deselecting the sales views okay now press now click on right mark yeah now it is not showing the sales organization level data here sales organization levels okay now click on selection views just select the sales views now click on right mark yes it is started showing the sales related organization level data okay now click on right mark okay so before creating the material master we should know in what field we need to enter the what data okay enter the material description okay this is comes under general data enter the unit of measure pc enter the material group material group i am entering this one okay enter see once we successfully maintain the view so system shows the green signal like this okay that means it is successfully maintained what views we selected it system highlights the selected views by this icon okay just click here the right arc to see the all the selected views are showing system this icon okay just come back okay now click enter okay enter the data this is the tax classification data for sales so based on my requirement i am entering the data here so here zero nothing but no tax yes no tax now press enter key press enter key so some data is coming by default why because because of material type settings it is coming by default okay enter see this view i successfully maintained hence it is showing the green signal here okay still we need to maintain these all the views enter the transaction group enter the loading group press enter key press enter key 
so here cursor is blinking this is the sales text if you have the any sales text we can enter the sales text here okay so here cursor is blinking so if i press the enter key system don't go to the next view cursor simply moves down okay so just click here on the screen now cursor blinking is stopped now press enter key now enter the purchase group enter enter this is the purchase text we'll enter the purchase text here okay so here also cursor is blinking if i press the enter key cursor simply moves down but it don't goes to the next view to go to the next view just click on the screen anywhere on the screen now press enter key it automatically goes to the next view now enter the mrp type i am entering pd okay this material is planning relevant hence i am going to enter the pd if it is material is not planning rele relevant we need to enter the nd now enter the mrp controller so mrp controller is depend upon the plant lot size i am going to enter ex now enter the plant delivery time it is a mandatory field i am going to enter the 10 days schedule margin key i am entering the triple zero enter 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 here filling the data based on my requirement okay enter enter here enter the valuation class valuation class for raw material i'm going to enter the default valuation class that is 3000 so these are all the default valuation classes I'm going to enter 3000 okay now press enter key just to read the warning message if it is important stop the creation of material master if it is not important just skip it by pressing the enter key okay now press enter key press enter key yes we are in the last view by pressing the enter key yeah just ignore this warning message in my case i'm just ignoring this warning message valuation category is not required hence i'm not going to enter the valuation category press enter key now we can save the material master okay click on yes yes we successfully created the material master in the next video i will show the how to create material master with external number range and how to copy the material master from one material to another material and how to maintain the missing views and how to extend the material from one plant to another plant so these all the material master related knowledge i will share in the next video thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel if you have the any queries please comment me i will try to answer Thank you.